Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day. For any of you guys who are missing the old vlogs with Storm and going to the barn. Guys, I'm so proud. This I have to half hold my horse. I need you to automatically change this. This vlog's for you. Uh, we are headed to the barn right now. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that yesterday, happy Valentine's Day, uh, was um, mine and Sam's 12th wedding anniversary. You said 18th. No, Sam wrote on Facebook, happy 18th wedding anniversary to my wife. I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that that's not right, but okay. <laughs> anyway. How did he get that, though? I don't know. Because we, yeah, anyways. Um, started oh living gosh. together 18 years ago. I have my shoes. Um. Okay, just wait. Anyway. And, and I'm Martin Gale. Okay. Me. Okay, but back to my story about Valentine's Day. We did not celebrate. Sam brought home pizza. He brought, oh, oh my God, I can never talk. Oh, I'm interrupted. I um, at the door. He brought the girls chocolates and he brought, and I, and he brought home pizza and we all had um, a nice little celebration. Oh, you wanted hot hearts? Yeah, okay. you said. You yeah, promised. okay. So anyways, um, at the point of the story was that I'm not eating chocolates because we're on a health kick and he just brought the girls little teeny tiny box of chocolates, like five With chocolates. Six chocolates. Six chocolates. And um, guess what he brought me? Like, this man actually thinks. Gum. He brought him gum. He brought me gum because this is what I eat. This is what I love. And he brought, and I needed a whole new pack and he brought it for me for Valentine's Day. That is... This that is true love, you guys. That's going to fit Storm's girth. This girth is going to have to go somewhere. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the I'm barn. Have a piece of gum. Or let's go to the barn. They give us food all the time, don't they? Those are Valentine's Day treats. Yeah, all mine? Uh-oh, look what's happening. This barn there, they have like a wash doll station and they put all their hay in there too. I thought one of his shoes fell off, but no, I could see the shoe. Thank goodness. Hi, right, Stormy boy. So, new thing. Storm's trying to martingale and he is not in love with it. Why do you say that? He is in love with it. <laughs> Why do you create drama? I don't know. I, I, I'm a drama creator. I'm a drama creator. <laughs> Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you. When you're 
feet are too far forward, you fall backwards into the saddle. You want your legs back so your knees can drop towards the ground and you're balanced over your ankles. Half halt, we need to slow him down just a little bit. Whoa, 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 can you say that again? <laughs> there we go. Shorten your reins up. Yeah. Slow your rising. That's our, that's our horse that we have to half halt. His right front foot. I was thinking left, but yeah, I was seeing that when he went around the corner. Do you think his shoes about to come off? Probably not. Oh, down. Half halt. Shorten your reins so you can feel the bit at the other end of them. Remember, we're working on that nice soft contact with quiet hands. So is he off in the front? Hey, I'm trying to figure that out. He's good right there. And then he's not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. See that little bob? And then he's good right there. Good, 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 good. Not good, not good, not good. So he's not, not good. good when he's... Good, good, good in the corners. Change rain! Imagine your hands are attached with handcuffs. Not good when he's turning. Yep. Two. Stop. Use your hands when you have tight reins and the small. Because you're not like, yeah. Bingo, bingo. What's the matter with you, sir? So Gabby thought that he lost a shoe. But he didn't. But he didn't. Why did you think he lost a shoe, Gabs? Because I couldn't see him in the snow. Oh. It's probably those stupid boots that I don't want her to put on them. Snow and ice gets stuck in there. Yeah, you're not mud season. You can probably pull those off now. All right, so Storm has a sore ankle. Probably just slipped on the ice or yeah. something silly. Probably slipped on the ice. Give him a couple days, try again Sunday. Yeah, um, you don't want to ride him with a sore ankle, right? That's right.
and it could be those stupid boots I'm telling you we need to take them off and look and see if there's a sore let's take a bite of these no we'll keep them but for right now he doesn't need them hot so um which one is sore left okay it's always the left one yeah always the left one life with horses it never is easy no cuts yeah we need to bubble wrap our horses he has an owie yeah we need to clean that off so Storm got a little cut from the bell boot. The bell boot that I said take off. All right, so the only thing wrong with this boy is that he was trying to avoid being on a sore spot. I should show you. I don't know if you guys can see, but basically underneath there, no, you can't see, he's all red and raw because he had those boots on in the field and the sun and the snow and the ice got in there. So we put some cream, Medicaid cream on there. We cleaned it all out. Fiona did it. I put the cream on. And so he just needs a couple days to heal up and then we'll, yeah. riding with storm and you guys are getting to me like well I was hugging him and kissing him and I'm like oh I feel bad he's not at home do you feel bad but we need a horse that we can ride and they're like they need a place to ride their horses and one day yeah he will come home and I don't know when it's gonna happen because who knows what's gonna happen in the future like anyway yeah I so anyway what happened was that his bell boot got snow and ice in there and it rubbed his skin a little bit raw and he was trying to get off that side so he was like I felt it though yeah Gabby felt it but anyway only their owner who rides them every single like time and yeah only their owner rides them yeah knows so. when they're horses yeah so anyway that happened today um, and that's the life with horses like some days are good and some days are bad but we gotta go home now and check on our horses they're still alive we left them and they're still there They pooped in the arena? No, they go in the arena. Stella's all sandy on her side. Oh, well, that's great. I see some action on the ground here. You see some action over here? Some flooding over here. The roll right here. Yeah, you guys see that? That's a Stella. Actually, that's a willow roll. That's a Stella. Are you sure? I don't think so. Oh, our pretty girls. Have you been drinking? I don't see any water. Go well, a little. Oh, you guys are in a yucky spot. You guys want more, some more hay? You want some lunch? She's dirty, but you know what? She's happy. She's our dirty, happy girl. Catch Willow. Grab, grab Willow. I'll get some hay. Yeah, look at that. Good girl. Let's walk them around a little inside. This is the part of the day where we just love them and just play with them and have fun. Gonna give them, gonna give them some lunch. And we're gonna give them a brush because uh, <laughs> this apparently happened. Yeah, this happened when we were away. This is why I, I don't know. She looks it. a little bit ragged. Was there some okay. fighting going on? Are you okay, you guys? Look what I put on Storm's um, halter. Ah, uh, hi, princess. Look what I put on Storm's halter that I'm, us I'm using for beautiful. Storm. Sabrina's old charm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we need to get a brush. You guys are gonna have to brush them. Oh my gosh, look at Stella's hair. Like, I don't, I, like, I don't, I feel like they're, oh my gosh. Really, this really, like, we're this gonna. This is why I like blankets, because they don't get all muddy on their back. But look, the arena flooded again. That sucks. With all the mud and the wet weather, it's hard to get the truck in here, but I'm gonna call him and tell him to come as soon, like whatever day he can come and put more yes. arena stuff um, down. I told Willow that if a kid is walking you and the kid is like behind you like this, you slow down so that the kid can catch up. Yeah, she I gave her this big pep talk, to, pep talk if, um, today. A person is 
If a big person is walking her. And they're walking like really far ahead, she speeds up. Yeah, she told her what to do. And she said like, even if a big person is walking you, yeah. you still need to be a, a nice pony because nobody wants a naughty pony. She won't walk. She probably doesn't want to go, don't take her through that water. What a day to let our horses out. See, if I go behind her, then she won't even walk. Good girl, now let's see you walk her. Good girl. Remember before, she didn't really even want to walk on a lead. Stella. No, she does not trot on a lead. Uh, well, I hold Willow while you go get a you brush? You can walk her around a bit. All right, Willow, come with Actually, me. Actually, no, just stand. Yeah, my kids don't want me to bond with any horses because they don't oh, want them to love me. Want me leaving her. I'll be right back. So, a long time ago, our Fiona was giving away a bunch of um, stuff, equestrian stuff. And we got this one. And we grabbed this red pony halter. And we're like, yeah, you never know. Like, the girls wanted to use it on Ruby. Hello. Let her eat her grain. Oh, I need to. Okay, put it on her. And now we have a red one. Yeah, that's what I always do. I always brush the rug or the blanket. Pretty girl. Sophie's been having trouble hoof picking her. But uh, finally, Gabby said she's been hoof picking her, so she finally did it. Look how small her little hoof is. Oh my goodness. This is how you braid your pony's hair. Stella, are you going to be a show pony? Are you? I know you're going to girl braid him. Come on. You think you could do walk trot poles? Oh yeah, I'm showing her that. Oh man. So that happened. But here's the thing. Perfect length. Okay. Showing. So here's the thing. I like Willow's hair really long, but I want my kids to learn to do stuff. I want them to Stella. just Stella. Ugh. Not Willow. Yeah, Willow. Stella. Plus, Storm's mane is naturally uneven, and I'm not cutting it because then it would look horrible. So anyway, Gabby decided that so she's gonna trim her up. Right here short and then right here is that long and, and right so here. yeah that happened and this happened too let me show you okay so stella has a cut too oh gosh i don't know if you guys can see it you can't see it it's too dark but she's all scraped up i don't know if she did it in her stall i'm going to clean it right now and i'm going to put more shavings down because i think she doesn't have enough in the front part 12 bags of shavings two weeks is that normal for two horses let me know in the comments below. Probably yes. Probably no. I feel like I'm going to have to get some of those thicker ones because the ones that are small, they don't fill as much space. Oh man. Okay, so I always lock the horses up. I leave the arena door going outside open and I push something heavy in front of the door leading into the barn because horses can do anything. Anyway, I'm always the last one to leave and I always do that. So basically I always close everything up so the horses can't get out of the arena. Oh, it's good. Oh. Okay, so I always push this up here so the horses can't come out here. And the horses have been inside. They're good. <laughs> they were just chilling in here. Oh, good. Stella was standing here and Willa was standing Oh, okay. Oh, Phew. The thing was in front of the door though, so. Ah, so anyways, I always make sure that they can't get in this door. I always put something, the heavy hay and water up against it. And that we keep looking out the windows. And for like an hour, they were not coming outside. I'm like, we have to go check them. It's been an hour. Like, what would they I'm be doing like, in the arena? I'm like. And just wait, and then and Gabby's and like, like. Sophia. 
did you lock them in? And Sophia's like, yes. And I'm like, I was the last one. Like, I was the last one, so there's no problem. And then Gabby's no, like, no. Sophia was the last Sophia one. went back. No, we both went back, but I went out before her. And, and I'm then like, you moved something in front of the door. Yeah, it's okay. It was an accident, but nothing happened, anyways. And then, and then her mom was like, Sophia, did you put the container in front of the door? She's like, no. So. And, and then I freaked out. Then I'm like, oh my god! Basically, I envisioned the horses running amok in the barn, and we raced down, and you they were good. So our Did catastrophe avoided. Hair? Yeah. Do you guys like it's it? A bit long here, but Gabby's first try, and I think it looks good. Mom did this part. Yeah, I fix. I did the last part because she asked me to. Look, this is a little. <laughs> this is a little long, but that's fine. I like the long better. She kind of no, reminds me. She kind of reminds me of a little horse that a little. I'm gonna go catch Willow. This is how I catch Willow. She kind of reminds me about a parent that stuck a bowl on its kid's head and trimmed their hair in a bowl no, haircut. Definitely does not look like that. <laughs> she, looks looks smart. Like that. she looks like a show pony. Aww. What about our little pony? So, uh, look at all the mess you guys made out there with your hay. At least they're smart and they stay in out of the wind. We need to get you guys some toys. Good girl. This is our girl. We got our girl back. She's like, well, why would you guys come to visit? <laughs> oh, I got the pony mare. Yeah, you Daddy. got your pony mare. Gibby, I feel like you're going to make her go. Crisis averted, you guys. Crisis averted. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.